Hi guys, uh, today we are going to discuss um, the topic on envelopes and labels which are most often uh, than not are not really being used because what we usually use is we just use the file menu and uh, do the blank document and so on and so forth but actually if we are going to, to use um, mail or mail some letters and we need to insert them it's, it's not the email it's the physical mail you need to put the letter inside the, the envelope uh, using mailings or the labels and um, labels and envelopes would really prove to be useful okay and um, so I'm going to start with the envelope okay so basically how do, how do we access that uh, say, let's say for example we started with a blank document you go to mailings and then next is envelopes but first let's say for example we, we assume that we have already created the letter so let me do some body of the letter a just a a dummy no so uh, dear dear mr go okay so okay so let's say for example that this is an example of the body of the letter sincerely yours yours my daughter okay so this is the body of the letter and now we can mail this letter to the recipient uh, mr go okay so uh, usually um what they do is they um in in an empty uh, document or a paper they try to measure uh, and then they put some sort of they use the text box uh, they use text box for the address for the return address for example this is mark flores um, Maasin Zamboanga City and then for the recipient we put it here so Roderick Pigo um, Wimsu Baliwasan Zamboanga City. Okay, and then they remove, of course, the, the line. Remove the line. Format shape. I will remove the line. Okay. So and then they print this out. And then they just try to measure first the size of the envelope and then they do estimations which can actually be automated using the built-in tool of Microsoft Word okay so you don't have to do this if you know that uh, you can actually use the envelopes and labels okay uh, basically for this one we're gonna use the envelope so how do we do that of course we click on mailings and then envelopes and then here we type you see here this is the delivery address this is to whom the letter will be sent okay, for example uh, Roderick P Go PHP uh, ICS or it only also be Western Mindanao A University Aluasan Zamwanga City 7000 and then um, this is the return address this, this means that uh, if the letter is not received or something went wrong it goes back to the, the address that you type here which is actually located on the top left of the envelope so 
usually it's the sender's address. So say for example, if it came from me, Mark L. Flores, Maasin, uh, I'll just use the shortcut, Maasin, Zamboanga City. Okay. So uh, you can use this or you can omit this. It's actually an option for you because some, as you can see here on the preview, if uh, there's a return address, it looks like this. But if you click on omit, the return address here disappears. But you can also put that back. Okay, but uh, usually it's safer if you had that there. So just in case of emergency, it goes back to you and you know that the letter was not uh, received. Okay, so that's it. So next is an, uh, the other option for for um, other options here under envelopes is print and add document. So print that means you are going to print it right away to the envelope. And another thing, I haven't shown it to you this part. Feed this one feed that means this is how you you insert the envelope into the printer okay but uh, if you don't want to if you do it like that there, there are you want it other ways there's also another way and that is here in the options so let me go back here to the options print and add the document if you're going to click on print that means you're gonna print the contents of this um, things that you have inputted in the boxes it is going to be printed right away to the uh, envelope but uh, you can also click on add to document so that it is um, it will be insert it, it's gonna be uh, embedded into your letter Okay, we're gonna do it later. So let's go first here to the options. Options here. So this is what I'm telling you that um, you can actually choose a size for the envelope. If you're, if you know the size, you can. Usually the default is 10, but if it's not this size, 4 and 1 8 by 9 and 1 half inch, so you just look for the size of the envelope here. Okay. So when it's okay, when you've selected it, you can actually choose the font, okay, you can customize it. You could also customize that for the delivery address and same for the return address, okay. So for printing options, this is what I was saying earlier that you could, um, let me just magnify that here. So you could actually insert it this way. Or this way or this way or this way so you could have it face up or face down so depending be sure you should also uh, the, what's best I think is you should have a trial print first before inserting the envelope envelope itself so that uh, you will you'll be sure what it would how, how it would turn out okay so uh, use first a trial a paper so or a scratch paper for you to uh, make a trial print okay to be safe so that you won't waste um, an error uh, an envelope due to error okay so uh, these are again these again are the options for um, inserting the envelope into the printer okay so let's go back so let's just leave it by default with the default setting okay so uh, we're going to choose now the add to document and see what happens okay add to document do you want to save the new return address as the default return address so that anytime you're going to make another envelope or labels it's always going to be marked El Flores Maas in Sambuanga City no? or whatever information you place here it's going to be the default anyway you can still edit it but if you don't want it to have to become the default you could also click on no so every time you create an envelope you have to type the return address okay so let's just have it as yes 
here okay so now on top of this letter the dear mr go letter is the envelope itself and uh, what could be printed on the envelope okay so that's all guys for the envelope that's as easy as as it is now next is the label okay so um with labels so but uh let's try to make another document blank document now we're going to use labels um same nails and then labels now uh what what is labels this is actually uh, like uh, um this is useful especially if you try to make um duplicate copies of let's say for example you want to create uh, a sticker uh, some labels and then you print it in a sticker paper and then they have the same content let's say for example it's like uh, a label for um, a label for for a company or a title no? so you can use labels to do that for you rather than doing it by let's say for example usually what we do is um, we use the text box say for example um, uh, I when institute of computer studies and you want it want this to be printed let's say for example you uh, show that uh, that means this thicker paper you assume that this thicker paper will be um, will be attached to any of your belongings okay so let's say for example uh, Warren Doming C okay so this is the name of the student and then so that uh, anybody sees this will know that uh, wherever it is attached to would would know that it belongs to mr warren domicile okay so let's say let's have it like this and then what we, we usually do is we just duplicate this duplicate and then put it in line duplicate again duplicate again and then sometimes we do is duplicate again I'm selecting everything duplicate okay and so on and so forth which is very tedious or it's a lot of work where while you can actually do this by just um, doing the first one and then it will be automatically populated to the page using the label itself so let's try to do that okay so i'll go back to mailings and then labels and then here here it is so the envelopes and labels so we're going to use the labels so let's say for example the name warren doming field uh, Institute of Computer Studies. Okay, so there's an option for full page with the same label or single label. So this means, isa lang talaga you're just going to print one. But uh, of course, we, we want to maximize the size of the paper and print it there. Okay. So again, there's print option and new document option. And uh, by the way, there's an e-postage press properties. This is if you have a third-party software that is installed on your computer, like a software that has that generates barcodes, which we don't have, no. And we, uh, this is in, in our case, we don't usually do this, no. So uh, just an idea for you to to have that e-postage properties here. If you, if I click this, it will. Uh, let's try. You need to install electronic postage software before you can use this feature. Okay. 
So there's a third party application for this. So we don't need that. Okay. So now going back to the print, new document and then options. Okay. So I'll click this. And then here, there are a lot of options actually. So continuous speed printer, page printer. So let's try to leave this part here. Default here. Okay. So default tray the setting should be default tray except if you really like to customize it so next is the label vendor there's a lot of this here and um, you can check on it this comes with it the the size of the box or the document so you can choose from here okay so letter so if you choose microsoft these are the options for microsoft okay for with uh, compliments card okay compliments card tabloid and so on and so forth so you have to be familiar of the width so let's try the width compliments card let's see if what the size of it 3.67 by 8.5 it's going to be wider so we'll, let's try for looking for something that's smaller uh, Avery let's try the Avery US letter okay so self laminating ID label so this should the size should be like that of the uh, height is 4.5 and width is 7 okay so you have to explore this on your own okay so height let's try this because the width is 1.6 and height is 0.57 Okay, you can browse for you to be able to check on because these are already a uh, preset like template already okay let's try this okay and then again let's have the new document okay here so it looks like this so now uh, it's already populated all you have to do is to edit it or I it really needs a lot of exploration so that you'd be able to get the perfect size for whatever uh, you need okay uh, but just the, the point is you can actually shorten the time for as long as you are able to determine already what size you'd like for a particular label uh then you are uh you are already set to go okay it saves time and it saves effort also at the same time so all you have to do is do that and then print it and then you have a um a lot of uh, labels printed right away okay and you save time and effort okay so this is an example of uh uh those are the examples that we've had for using the envelopes and labels. Hope you learned something for, out of this and hope you'll be able to apply this in your, um, in your activities or in any of your um, professional, maybe professional in the future. Right? You'll be able to use this in your jobs. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.